How's it going everyone? This is Dr. Hefe here to tell you why you should be playing Nerds Online. Nerds Online is a free game on Steam put out by video game developer Zachtronics. Nerds is basically fast-paced multiplayer solitaire. And if you're a fan of quick playing card games, you're going to love Nerds Online. Nerds is a very easy game to learn. In fact, the instructions are only one page long. You can see that you have your four piles of cards, which you can build on like solitaire with alternating black and red cards. Your goal is to play cards into the center, ace up just like in solitaire. However, you and the other players, up to six other players, will also be playing their cards into the center. You get plus one point for every card that you play into the center. However, you also have this pile of cards. The Nerds Pile, which is where the game gets its name from. Every card that remains in the Nerds Pile is minus two points. Once you have played all the cards from your Nerds Pile, either into the center or on top of your solitaire piles, you can then click the Nerds button to end the game and score your points. The goal is to be the first player to score 100 or more points over a series of games. So let's join a game so you can see what the Nerds Online experience is like. All right, we're ready to play. Once you play one of those heart or aces onto the board, you will hear the announcer make a announcement of which suit of cards have been played. As you can see, I'm waiting here in order to play some more cards onto the center area. We're looking for a four of diamonds so we can play our five of diamonds up here. We can see someone else already played the Five of Diamonds. We missed it. But that's just the game of Nerds. Someone else may beat you to the punch to Close. play the card that you want to play. We're currently flipping through our deck, seeing if we have anything that we can play into the center. We're currently not finding anything. We're looking for five of so spades, threes of hearts, maybe a two of clubs. Hearts. So we're just going to keep sitting here flipping through. I just saw that I missed a three of spades, so I'm going to go back in order to play it. And now we can just keep flipping through our deck. We got the four of spades to play right away. That's giving us more points. You can see our points continue to go up every time we have a card. Oh, someone beat us to the five of diamonds. Ah, unfortunate for us. So we're going to keep on flipping through our deck. Spades. It's moving a little bit slowly today, but that's fine. It makes it a lot easier Close. to talk about what's happening when it's moving a little bit more slowly. We have a four of diamonds we could play. Now we played that down. We have a jack that we would want to get down at some point. If we find a black queen spades. of clubs or spades, clubs. it would be good to play it on diamonds. top of our red king. And we'll just keep diamonds. going down, making sure to play as many cards as we can as quickly as possible. We see this jack, unfortunately it is not our jack of clubs, it's a jack of spades, so we can't play off of that. Still looking for this eight of hearts. Oh, we have a knight of diamonds we could have played a long time ago. Heart that diamonds. is part of the game. You do see that you've had a card sitting there for who knows how long, and now you can finally play the card. We have the ten of spades, unfortunately we missed out on that one. Two of spades we can play down pretty quickly, five of hearts as well. Oh, we need someone to play the two of diamonds so we can play out this three that's sitting on our pile. Oh, we have the red ten that we can move over. And the four of clubs, not being able to move that over just yet. In fact, we have no low-level clubs, unfortunately. Eight of hearts, we're still waiting for... Oh, someone played the six, seven. Now we can play the eight real quickly. Gotta have your eye on which card is coming up. All right, so that was the end of the game. You see that you do have a chance to move some cards over that maybe you weren't able to technical and get a technical nerds, maybe because you were moving too quickly or the game was moving too quickly. After seeing a game, I'm sure you're excited to play Nerds Online. You may be asking, what are some of the flaws with the game? Well, the game does have an issue with lag spikes, which can be kind of frustrating if you're about to place a card down on the middle and all of a sudden you hit a lag spike. However, these slowdowns are pretty infrequent and not too much of a game ruiner. Also, 
There is an issue with joining lobbies, which are halfway through, but since it takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes for a full game to be played, meaning someone reaches 100 points, it's not too much of a handicap if you join a game that's already halfway through. So now that you know why you should play Nerds Online, get out there, get the game, it's free, F-R-E-E -E on Steam. You'll see me online, and if you want to see more of me playing some Nerds, come check me out at Dr. Hefe at twitch.tv. Until next time, do remember to take care of yourself.